Greetings, I am Lord Andrew of House Nelson, Mayor of the City of Bryan, Texas. Many moons ago, wise men and women proclaimed Bryan citizens live the good life, Texas style. And that's never been more true than it is right now. Our city is growing, our citizens are thriving, and yes, winter is coming. Come listen to our noble lords and ladies as they take you on a journey through the City of Bryan's latest victories. Welcome, I'm Julianne of House Burkhalter, Keeper of the Animals. Here at the Bryan Animal Center, you'll find the best animals in the Brazos River lands. Whether you're looking for a dog, a cat, or a dragon, we'll have an animal that'll be perfect for you. This year we hosted the fourth annual Papalooza Animal Health Fair and Adoption Reunion, where 100 pets were microchipped and another 150 pets received free rabies vaccinations. We constructed a new canine enrichment facility to provide an outdoor play and socialization area for dogs awaiting adoption. We partnered with Texas A&M University and Arrow Academy to participate in the PAWS Reading Program. We provided health awareness and promotion of adoptable pets through the Family Pet Center exhibit at the Brazos Valley Children's Museum. We also adopted out more than 850 animals to new homes with 105 of those in just 22 days as part of the nationwide Clear the Shelter event held each August. I'm Randy of House McGregor, Chief Fighter of Fire. The Bryan Fire Department is stronger than ever and we have won many victories in our battle with the flames. We've improved our defenses and increased our number of firefighters to protect our lands. This year we added nine additional firefighter positions to increase daily staffing levels and maintain four firefighters on every fire apparatus. We hosted groundbreaking and began construction of Fire Station Number 2. We also hosted regional training on May Day studies with over 150 firefighters and fire departments across Texas. We purchased a new wildland truck and placed it in service with a trained and equipped wildland firefighting team. We added a new ambulance, EMS supervisor vehicle, and battalion chief vehicle. I'm Eric of House Busky, Chief Commander of the Protectors of Bryan. As officers of the Bryan Police Department, we swear an oath to protect the people, preserve order in our community, and improve the quality of life in Bryan. In light or darkness, summer or winter, we are always on watch to defend our citizens from those who would seek to do harm. This year, we were selected as a City Award winner for participation in National Night Out 2016. Our new firing range, built in partnership with Revisma and the City of College Station, is now fully operational. We are currently seeking approval through t -Cole to open and run our own basic police academy to train new officer hires. We added a new canine officer blitz to our canine unit and all officers are now equipped and utilize body-worn cameras. I'm William of House Smith, Keeper of Accounts. The Fiscal Services Department has a very important job, knowing how much money has been entrusted to us by the community and determining how much tax revenue will be available in the future. This helps the department create city budgets and make sure that the City of Bryan always pays its debts. This year we received the City of Bryan's first ever Transparency Star designation for traditional finances. Bryan was the 44th Texas municipality to receive the traditional Transparency Star Award in transparency efforts. We also received the Distinguished Budget Presentation Award from the Government Finance Officers Association of the United States and Canada for the previous year's budget. I'm Linda of House Cornelius, Director of the Parklands. When you're not battling creatures from beyond the wall, there's no better way to rest and recover your strength than visiting one of Bryan's many city parks. We offer recreation programs for all ages. We maintain more than 40 green spaces for citizens to enjoy. At Parks and Recreation, we promote health and well-being in the realm. This year, we constructed a 17,500 square foot concrete skate park, including two bowls, LED lighting, and new restroom facilities. We renovated Nutribolt Stadium with new bleacher seating, new fencing, LED lighting, and a new scoreboard to better accommodate the Bombers baseball and Cavalry soccer teams. Extensive renovations to the Bryan Aquatic Center were also completed, including refurbished bulkhead, all new pump and filtration equipment, zero depth entry, and replacement of nearly 50% of the concrete pool deck with the installation of a new dual flume slide to come. We installed new playground equipment at Tiffany Park, Scurry Park, and Castle Heights Park. We also developed eight Monarch Butterfly Gardens throughout Bryan. 
I'm Jason of House Barfman, Doctor of Engineering and Master Builder. As the city of Bryan grows, so does its needs for better roads, utilities, and walls. That's where our builders and engineers come in. We've been hard at work improving everything from streets to power lines and even the occasional castle. Significant progress has been made on the reconstruction of South College Avenue, which includes the conversion of overhead utilities to underground utilities as well as roadway surface improvements. The installation of a new game and security fence began at Coulter Field to protect the runway from unauthorized access to the airport grounds. We completed underground utility improvements as part of a multi-year CHI St. Joseph Hospital area improvement project. We also finished the reconstruction of West 28th Street from Congress to Logan Street, including the replacement of water and sanitary sewer lines. As you can see, those wise men and women were correct. Bryan citizens truly do lead the good life Texas style. And because of the hard work and leadership of our city staff members, Bryan is well equipped to face the challenges of the future.